Good evening, Julio Cesar. We're going to get started in five minutes, okay? Thank you for joining. Thank you, teacher. No kiss. Hello, good evening, Carlos. Julio Cesar. Okay, and Eliseo as a listener. Okay. okay, it is time to get started. So here we go. And let's begin. Okay, very good. Okay, it's great to have you here. Today is our class number 20. But remember, class, tomorrow we are going to have a class. Okay, because we're going to replace. Uh, the class that was about the simple past tense, yes? And then you okay. need to have the, the attendance for that day. So uh, Virginia, welcome. She's joining right now. And I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you guys, okay? Huh. Today, the weather has been really, really hot. Yes or no? Yes or no? Or is it fresh in your neighborhoods? Is it fresh or hot? Very hot, teacher. Very hot, okay. Yeah, so very we hot. Have 
Very, very hot. Okay, so here we go. Ah, Elizabeth Johanna is also joining. Yeah, but next month is May. So maybe we're going to start having next month some uh, some rain, right? And then we're going to yeah. be refreshing the weather. Yeah, because it is really like if we are, I don't know where, maybe at the beach, yeah? Right. Yeah, rain of cocote, teacher. Ah, uh, yes, and for the mangoes too, <laughs> a little bit, you know, yeah. delayed, un poquito retrasado. Okay, Virginia, welcome. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Johanna. Welcome, class. So I'm going to start sharing my PPT and try to remember what we did yesterday in class, okay? Here we go. And here, let's see, okay. Okay, today is um, April 11th, correct? 2023. And yes. as I was telling you at the beginning class, today is our video conference number 20. In our activity number one, as every day, the greetings. And I told you we're going to have um, a feedback, right? On what we did yesterday. And again, one more time, one of you is going to help me reading uh, the objectives. But for today, the pre-task is to define various necessities you need to check off when you travel, okay? Because when we are going to travel, we need to check some uh, items that we need to carry or some arrangements if you are going to uh, stay in a hotel or nowadays it is an Airbnb, right? Yes? Okay. The hotel. Yes, it can be, uh -huh. you need to book and about the, the, the transportation also, yeah? Many details, in other words. Yes, that's it. And also okay. the weather because of the clothes that you need to wear, yeah? Okay, and then in the preparation task, we have to use be going to about schedule activities. You know, schedule activities are the ones that have been programmed that are in a timetable okay, in your agenda. And the task is to plan a business trip. You're going to be planning a business trip today. And I expect that we're going to be working at pages 47 and 48 and the wrapping up of the class. So class, it is the time for you to shine. Let's see. Who is going to help me reading the objectives? The specific objective and the class objective. Who's going to be? Hello? Only one volunteer. Let me see, sir. Okay, let me see. Okay, Wilbur. Thank you, Wilbur. Oh, objected. Yeah, the objectives, uh, the specific objective and the class objective. Please begin. Okay. Uh, a specific objective, uh, students will, will, will be able to plan a corporate business, business trip for an um, offshore training by using the grammar and vocab vocabulary for unit four. Okay. Class, uh, class objective. A student will be able to plan to plan a corporate business trip for a team that is going to to an offshore training. Okay, excellent, great. Let's see who is writing. Alejandro Avila. Hmm. He says that he's going to be as a listener today. Okay, class here. Again, about homeworks and evaluations. Congratulations, class. It is a pleasure for me to tell you that. Well, let me see who are here. Michael, Freddie, Virginia, Elizabeth, Wilbur, Julio, Carlos, Andrea, Elizabeth, uh, Hazel, uh, Evelyn, Rudy, uh, Rafael, Mervyn. Okay, I think I mentioned all the ones that are here. You um, completed your tasks in the learning platform. Okay, so I am very proud of you. Congratulations. 
you did a great job. That's excellent. And here, so I have to tell you nothing else about because the people that I mentioned, you did a great job. And uh, here, only the requirements. I need one of you to help me read in Spanish because it is in Spanish, the requirements for the class. Okay, one volunteer. Me, teacher. Please be my guest, begin. Ok, um, requerimientos, eh, el nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Eh, en el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Y participación activa. Ok, all these aspects are really, really important, ya. Yeah? Active participation as much as possible. Minimize the sound as much as possible when we are not uh, participating, okay? Because if we have our microphone on and someone else is speaking, then there is a problem because we cannot listen the other partner, yeah? And uh, the full name, okay? So here, again, the attendance, remember class, that as I was telling you before, in the academic part, the ones that were here at the beginning, you are oh, you are on module four, yeah. In my concern, but I don't know the attendance, and I think that okay, you did it right. I hope so, because it is uh, fifty and fifty. Remember the academic part, but also the attendance, yeah. And here we have the attendance is expected to be here a hundred percent of the classes. When you accomplish the 120 minutes of the of the class, that generates or gives you the effective attendance for each session. Again, the attendance will be taken twice at 8:20 and at about 9:40. And remember, it is effective when in the video it is listened. To you saying presente um here here I am or present okay or hello something like that when I call your name and the one-on-one -on -one session one of you is going to stay with me for 10 minutes and uh, that's it okay in order to practice pronunciation to reinforce vocabulary or any structure or to clarify any doubt that you might have and again, from the beginning, permissions, permissions are not allowed on my side because I don't have the authorization, neither the administration. And here you have what is available for you in this platform. The uh, bottom uh, mute, okay, the mute bottom, uh, the camera must be on like this, the chat via Zoom and via WhatsApp, the breakout rooms, and also the ask for help bottom, and as you've been doing, okay, every single day, respect above all. Now, here we are in week number four. Today is April the 11th, but remember that tomorrow we have a class, okay? Because the one that was about the simple past tense didn't uh, register the attendance, the platform. So it is not my fault, it is not your fault, it is not the administration fault, but the platform, you know, disappointed us because it had a failure. So here we go. Um, but let's go over the feedback. Okay, class, here we go. Uh, Catherine, welcome. Class, tell me, one activity you remember we did yesterday? Or what topic did you practice yesterday? Do you remember? Mm. Uh, how to use get and go? Get and yeah. go. Very Travel good. plans. Excellent. Travel plans. Okay, class and the other students. Did you practice conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, you practiced. Did you practice writing sentences? 
Yes or no? Okay, Wilbur. Yes, Your teacher. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Sure. yes, we did it, okay. And here we go, okay. Thank you for your participation. Um, let me see, okay, over here. Let's recall, if you remember class yesterday, we were also talking about the uh, transportation means or means of transportation. And you were working here in exercise number two. You found the 10 means of transportation from the box in the word search. This is the box. Train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, bicycle and ship, but there are some others, yeah? Okay, and this is the short conversation that you practice and also you created your conversation based on this uh, motor, yeah? So I'm going to ask two of you to practice this conversation, two volunteers, please. Hello, one boy and one girl. Me, me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Wilbur and Evelyn. Uh, Wilbur, you are A and Evelyn, you are B. The same as okay. it is, okay? Let's begin. One, okay. two, three. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I am going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Finish. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Now to more participants. I listen to one boy's voice. Teacher. Okay, Carlos, you are A, and I need one girl to read speaker B. Or it can be a boy, yeah, because they didn't mention the name in, in, the, in the conversation. Me, teacher. Okay, Julio, you are speaker B. Let's begin. One, two, three. Go for it. Okay, excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is a very far away, you can go by taxi, or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks uh, down the street. You can go there before. Thanks a lot. OK. Thank you. Only let's remember that we say by foot, by taxi, by car, by plane, okay? And here, uh, Miss Hazel, are you here? Yes. Okay, uh, would you please help me reading the information that we have in this box in exercise number four? This you one? go back, okay. Go by. Use go by to specify the means of transportation you use from point A to B. A G. Go by bus, go by car, by plane, by foot. Okay, thank you so much. So you use go by and the transportation means, okay? And you were practicing also this conversation, if you will remember, okay? You created your conversation. And over here, you also worked in the breakout rooms and you wrote the name of three different places around your company. And you took turns asking how you can get to those places. For example, here we have place. Any place, right? Means of transportation, car. Question, can I go to, for example, Salvador del Mundo by car? The answer, yes, or yes, you can. No, you can't. Why? Because the modal verb that we are using is this one in order to ask the question. Yeah? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So, sure. here, yes, sir. 
What does means means? Means, medios. Ah, medios okay. de transporte. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so here we have a listening activity. Listen to a conversation discussing pros and cons about means of transportation. And then you have a quiz. So I'm going to share, okay, this link with you. And I need you to listen to it. Is that okay? Or if you have the digital book, you just click on it and it is going to take you directly to the site, yeah? Okay, it is uh, in the chat via Zoom and now over here. I hope that everything is going to be okay and you're going to be able, right, to practice. Okay, go for it. All the microphones off so there is no um, interruption.
when you finish, you let me know, please. Finish, teacher. Finish, okay, teacher. thank you. Uh, your question. Finish, teacher. Okay. Um, one uh, question. Okay, I have here one question, but I answer via 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 chat. Today I received a message about a survey. That survey is to be a felt in tomorrow because tomorrow is our last day together. Okay, that's why they haven't shared it yet via WhatsApp. Esa encuesta la vamos a realizar mañana acá en clase, porque mañana es nuestro último día de clase. Número uno. Número dos, porque cuando la realicen deben tomarle una screenshot y la deben compartir en el chat de la clase de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Comparten la imagen y nos van a compartir su nombre y apellido porque ellos llevan un registro de quienes la completan. De lo contrario, les van a estar llamando para que la realicen, ¿ok? Ok, What about the others? <laughs> I know I read <laughs> when I was explaining what is freedom. <laughs> and I saw that you were requesting teacher, freedom que, because of the class. Es que no, teacher, yo tengo, what a yo coincidence. Es que ahí en la tienda tengo motos freedom. <laughs> Ah, the name, uh, the, the name of the brand is Freedom. Yes. yes. Oh, it is. Okay, you have the answer, Richard. No, when I was uh, telling you about uh, tomorrow's meeting, I, I read what is Freedom. Okay. Yes. And I Tomorrow. saw that the day they were asking, we need a Freedom <laughs> from the class. <laughs> 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 that was my idea, but Libertad. Okay, I read it. As I was typing. So finish class. Yes. Freedom is like a brand. Mm -hmm. Also. Yeah. Also. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, class. I'm going to call your names and I need you to activate your cameras because I'm going to take your attendance. Is that okay? Okay. So here okay. we go. Let me see. Andrea? Present. Andrea Elizabeth. Okay, thank you, Miss Andrea. Carlos Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. Okay, thank you, Miss. Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Flor is absent. Okay. Freddy Celiceo. Predis. Okay, thank you, Predis, via, via chat. Julio says, ah, no, Hazel. Present. Thank you, Miss Hazel. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Catherine Beatriz Urbina. Present. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Maria Isabel. Isabel is not uh, at the moment connected. Leti? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss Leti. Mervin? Present. Thank you, Mr. Mervin. 
Mateo, Matthew, where are you absent? Miguel Angel, Miguel, I saw your name. Oh, you are a listener today. Natalia, Stephanie, she's absent today. Rafael Alejandro. Okay, as a listener today. Rudy, where are you, Rudy? Rudy, are you here? Virginia? Present teacher. Thank you, Rudy. Virginia, okay, now your audio is okay, Virginia. Wendy is absent, and Wilbur? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Now tell me your experience. You, it was easy, your, your listening, because you had the script, yes? And you had also a gap with the vocabulary. So I expect that all of you um, got 10, yes or no? Obviously, all of you got 10. Okay, so here we're going to continue with our class. Thank you very much for the listening, okay? If you remember class, uh, we were there, you were telling me how to use get and go, okay? And here we go. We use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B. And we use go to to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of arrival, yeah? And then you were working with this set of sentences in the completion we were working yesterday, but also here, okay, you were creating this conversation. Do you remember? And you also role played this conversation. Is that okay? Yes? Because I saw you practicing a lot, very well. Okay, so now here we have a speaking. Why do you or your partners travel on business? Tell me, class, in your opinion, say the reasons why people travel on business. Why do they travel on business? What do you think? Mm -hmm. There are people who are always traveling, but because of uh, their duties, mm -hmm. yes? But some reasons are, for example, because grab up the uh, um, opportunities of business. Okay, very well. Excellent. Another idea? Um, to visit agents or dealers. Dealers. Okay. Dealers. Dealers. <laughs> the leaders. Okay, yes. very well. Or maybe for trainings. Yes for trainings or as conventions, yeah? Special meetings, okay? To interact with other partners from the same company, it would be. So right now here, what are you going to do, okay? You are going to be working class at page 47. And here you have to answer these questions. Why do you, or your partners travel on business. You have to rank the top three reasons. So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and only exercise number one. Here you have to read these uh, potential reasons why people travel on business, but you need to make a decision as a group. Which are the top three reasons or the most important reasons why people travel okay, on business. Later, you are going to present it and you say why you consider that those are the most important reasons or the top three reasons why people travel on business. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, yes. We have to choose uh, only three, three from this only one. three in, as, in, as a group as a group yeah the mention in the in the page 47 yes okay. because here we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six reasons. Okay. Maybe you are going to rank them. Okay, here, maybe you say uh, to visit clients, to me is number one. Uh, okay, everyone is going to be ranking them, but from these six, you choose the three most important, yeah? As a okay. group. And later you give you reasons why you consider those three are the top three reasons, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Remember class, everybody, hey, what happens with the, with the, with the breakout rooms? Let me see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's see. Okay, hold it. Evelyn. Okay, because there is one group only with listeners and it doesn't work like that. Okay, class, right now I'm going to share the, okay, the breakout rooms invitation, join as soon as possible, please, and begin working. Remember, let's practice as much as possible. Okay, join your groups. Go to your groups. Miguel Angel, Elizabeth Johanna, and Catherine, go to your groups, please. three reasons to attend conference and seminars, to go on training, to visit clients, to attend in company meetings, to visit agents, and their conferences and seminarios. Una, ¿verdad? Sí. Para visitar clientes. Para atender. Para visitar las plantas de fabricación podría ser también. Uh -huh. Leticia. And we have two. Uh, Wilber Francisco says to attend conference and seminar. Uh, for me to visit manufacturing plant. And how about you, Maria Leticia? And... Bye. Voy. ¿Cómo me dice compra? <laughs> um, eh, buy. To buy. To buy. To buy. To buy. To buy. Eso anteriormente. Hoy, hoy no hago nada de eso. Ninguna salida de todas las anteriores. A, eh, pero en el trabajo anterior sí tenía salidas de compra. De productos ah. para surtir la tienda. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso de los ejemplos que tenemos en la página 47, ¿cuál considera eh, que estaría en el top 3, digamos las tres principales razones mm. para viajar o hacer negocios? Eh. Hay seis. Mm -hmm. Si gusta, le... le... Quiero ver si puedo compartir. Let me see. Ok. Uh, ¿Me confirmo si se puede? Eh, la última. 
to visit manufacturing plant. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miss Juan. Uh, Juan. Uh, change, change the position. Uh, this is number one uh, to visit manufacturing plants, Carlos, because uh, you and Letty. Uh, like it. that, like that, to visit manufacturing plant number one. Number one, and, and then the second, the second reason maybe uh, at the what and copper and mineral. Uh, yes. Yes or not? Yes. Yes. In the three restaurants to visit clients. Yes, could be. Okay, I try to uh, put the number. In this order. Uh, visit client. Visit client. I think. Uh, okay. Very good. Um, why you consider to attend conference and seminar is important for you, Wilbur. It's or to go more for travel and business. For the uh, for the uh, employees for my uh, more opportunity for company. the for the people? Yes. More more opportunity. Offer to a uh, job for the people. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Sorry, yes, sir. Could be. Okay. Um, to attain uh, the force. The four reason for complete the box, uh, I could be uh, to visit the agent or dealers, number four. Okay. How can I say to uh, introduce investment in the in the country? Could be. Yes, it is acceptable. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, I think, teacher, that we don't uh, exercise. Uh, we are choose the four no, three. No, no. Listen, you have chosen four reasons, you know, in your opinion, that are the, the top, but the exercise demands from you to choose only three, one, two, and three. But okay. you have two more to go on trainings and to attend in company meetings. From those two, which one is for you number five and which one is number six? Ah, okay. Miss mm -hmm. one, two. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. you have to run them, but you need to decide which ones are the uh, top three. Like that, for example. Okay, okay. one is to visit manufacturing plants, to attend conference and seminars, and then number three, to visit clients. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. It is acceptable, yeah? Okay, okay, very well. Let's get back then to the main session room. Remember, one of you is going to present it. Okay. Or because you have to read them, or if they, all of you want to participate, it would be better, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, let's return. Okay.
let's wait 10 minutes, 10 seconds, so everybody can get back. Okay, let's see. In group number one, we have uh, Hazel and Julio. Yes. Who is going to share with the class? Okay. Okay, Julio. This one. Yes. Daily. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, number one, um, to attend that conference and seminar. Okay. And number two, to attend an in company meeting. That is why you need to, to, to travel. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It is your opinion. Number three. And uh, number three, um, to visit angels or Dealer. Dealers. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. We appreciate your uh, your comments, your opinion as a group. Now in the next team, we have uh, Evelyn uh, Virginia, who is going to share with the class. Okay. Mm, number one to attend conference and seminars. Number two, to attend in company meeting. Number three, to visit manufacturing plants. Okay, thank you so much. And now it's time to listen to the next group. Carlos, Leti, Miguel and Wilbur. Who's going to share with the class? Me. Okay, please. Uh, to visit ma manufacturing plants, to attend that conference and seminars, and to visit clients. To visit clients, those are the top three reasons in your opinion, yes? And then we have in number four, to visit agents or dealers. Number five, to attend in company oh, meetings yeah. because it is in, in, inside, okay? The company meetings. And yeah. number yeah. six, to go on trainings because to go on trainings could be similar to attend conferences and seminars because the seminars are trainings too, yes? In a sort, they are trainings. Thank you so very much for sharing there for completing the task. Excellent. Now- the CPR, uh, These two reasons, teacher. Yes, but it okay. is more complete the one that you chose, yeah? Because seminars and uh, conferences. Conference. Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. Now the next exercise for you to be done is this. Be going to the uh manual is uh, asking you to write five sentences about schedule activities use the vocabulary from the box make a reservation request request a hotel service attend a business event check out this is feedback so remember that we have some information okay over here with a polite request, then making a reservation, okay? Here you have a how-to. Mm -hmm. And then you also have in here a conversation, right? That can help you. This is probably at page, let me see, I'm going to diminish this, at page 41, yes? And uh, also over here, okay? Uh, write a checklist about the types of services and amenities you need for your next trip. Use the words from the box. So you have here the services in a hotel. Yes, this is helpful for you in order to go over the exercise and complete the sentences. Yeah, over here. Yeah. 
write five sentences about the schedule activities, use vocabulary from the box, and you have here the phrases. Is it clear, class? Yes, but you have to write the sentences individually. Yeah, subject, okay. verb, and complement. Okay, so we are still working at page 40, 47, okay? And later we're going to share. Here spelling is very important and punctuation also. Okay, go to your groups, please. And let's get started with the feedback. Miguel, Freddy, and Catherine, join your groups, please. Ah. Por ejemplo, para el caso de esa, I need to make a reservation. Thank you. A holy service. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces es como la conversación que está arriba. Nosotros vamos a hacer las oraciones, las oraciones según como, como o sea, sea, con las frases. O it, las is a guide. Que... it is a guide. Es una guía porque como es repaso de todo lo que hemos estado practicando, ¿no? Ajá. Pero si usted quiere uh, personalizarlas, uh, use your creativity. It's better. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Miguel estaba con ustedes, chicos. Uh, no, ¿verdad? No, ¿verdad? No. 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 Okay. ¿Y acaso solo ustedes dos están efectivos? Sí. Sí. Okay. Thank you. Okay, continue working. Thank you, Hazel, mm -hmm. for helping Julio. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Sure. Okay. Del que está abajo de abajo de las indicaciones de la actividad. Uh -huh. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, Miss. Eh, las oraciones las vamos a hacer con los verbos que nos da aquí en el... En yes, el with those expressions, yes. Ok. You may consider the conversations that we have been practicing with wow. previously. It to have a better guide. Pueden reforzar todo lo que hemos estado viendo anteriormente ahí en el manual para eh, tener una ayuda extra, ¿ok? Ok. Hey, teacher. Quiero... For example, I I make a res I make a reservation at the hotel. Um, teacher, uh, is that okay? This six this sentence. No. No. I'm okay. going to tell you why. Listen, listen, hold it. No, leave it like that. I dije la sí. Le iba a decir lo que estaba mal. Are you going? Okay. I. I. Hey, what happened? Like that, okay. 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 R is the beginning of the sentence. So you need to capitalize it. Vaya, ya está bien. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I feel so very, very worried, teacher. <laughs> Why? Worried? No, because those are details, yeah? 
but they are important. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Because grammatically it was incorrect, but now it is correct. That's why I said, no, it is not correct. But if you change the first letter from a lowercase to a capital letter, then it is okay. Okay, uh, in this uh, sentence, for example, I will a request. Mm, I will request. Yes. Uh, but why did you write A? I will request, not I will a request, no? No. No, no. There's no need. Okay, I will request. What are you going to request? Um, uh, a hotel service or, or like a uh -huh. booking. Yeah, but you mentioned the, the hotel service. I need, a, uh, uh -huh. I need a single room or double no. room. Okay, but that is when you are booking the reservation. No, I will request no. I will request what your classmate said. What are you going to request? A single room or a double room? A single room. Like that? Mm -hmm. That could be, yes. Okay. And the third sentences. Uh, uh, is attend a business event. Recuerden que las oraciones son individuales, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, but that... Teacher, for request uh -huh. a hotel service, uh -huh. se refiere a laundry service, yes. service. Okay. okay. Yes, the ones that we uh, saw at the beginning that we, that you were labeling. Do you remember? I'm going to show it to you so you refresh this one. Okay, label okay. the picture with the corresponding words from the box, yeah? Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Teacher, tell me. Yo estoy haciendo la, eh, em, la estoy imaginando y quiero mostrarle para ver cómo va. Okay, si estoy... okay, okay, okay. Now share your screen. Okay, I... you're very creative now. Hello, I would like to make a reservation. Okay, very well. Hello, thank you for calling Hotel Malibu. Um, I gladly make your reservation. Okay, I gladly make your reservation. I'll probably, I'll, I will gladly. 
con mucho gusto haré su reservación. Here, I'll gladly. Hello, thank you for calling Hotel Malibu. Malibu Hotel. Uh, I, I will gladly make your reservation. Sorry, can you tell me the services of the hotel? Can you tell me the hotel services, maybe? But this is a conversation, but you are using in context, yeah? Yeah. The phrases, está contextualizando el vocabulario very well. Solo que acá en gladly, antes de gladly, escriba la palabra will. I will gladly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Antes de gladly, I will. I will. Will. No, will. Con I, no, E. Okay, I will gladly make your reservation. Sorry, can you tell me the services, the hotel services? And that's good. Very well, will you? Thank you. I celebrate that creativity. Very well, continue. Okay. 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 Le voy a compartir la, la que estoy haciendo ahorita para que más o menos un ejemplo. Uh -huh. Se la mandé por chat. Excelente, dije la pitch. Yes. Thanks. Great. Teacher, y las cinco oraciones son individuales. Yes, Miss, because it is the feedback. I okay. would like, I would like to make a reservation. I would like to make a reservation. Okay, and who is connected with that? With um, with a mail, I think. Let's see. Ah, Rudy, I would like to make a reservation in your hotel for tonight. I would like to make a reservation in your hotel for tonight. Mm -hmm. I would like to make a reservation in your hotel for tonight. That's correct, Rudy. Very well.
in that sentence, you must stay in your work area during your working hours, which is the phrase that you are using, Rudy. Let me check the phrases. Uh, hmm. You have only make a reservation, request a hotel service, attend a business event, or check out. Let me see. You must stay in your work area during your working hours. Stay. But let me see. Mm -hmm. Make a reservation, request a hotel, attend a business. Check out. These are the phrases, Rudy, you have to use when you build the sentences, okay? Make a reservation, request or request a hotel service, attend or attend a business event, and check out. No, stay, no. Because are the words that are in the box. They are giving you the phrases. And yo vi que esa palabra está en en el último. Which one? Donde? Está en al al final. Es la última palabra. Ah, okay. I didn't see it. Sorry. I apologize. Me disculpo because I didn't see it because it was I couldn't see it because of the of the you know of the images of the students. Okay. Thank you because I don't see it here. So stay. Let's see the other message. I am responsible of check out no. I'm responsible of checking out or for checking out the product in my group. Remember that responsible of checking out or responsible for checking out. After a preposition, the verb must be in ing, okay? Recuerden que después de una preposición como of o for, el verbo debe ir en ing. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, very well. So you say, ah, uh -uh, and I is with capital letter. Aha, uh -huh, at the beginning of the sentence. I, pero siempre ya no importa. Ya se me pegó lo de Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no matter if uh, the subject pronoun is in the middle or at the end, you say I, but with capital letter always, that subject pronoun must be written in capital letter, okay? Este Entonces sería... Me... So I am sería... responsible of checking out the product in my group work and the full stop at the end. Y el punto final. Yeah. Con... El ah, punto okay. final de la oración. Si no, it is incorrect. Okay. If you don't write the full stop, it is incorrect. <laughs> Para todo, ¿verdad? Okay, or exclamation like, uh, in you must stay in your work area during your working hours. Mm. I am responsible of checking out the product in my group work. Very well. Okay, now okay. we Thank are okay, speaking the same language. Okay, continue class, but be careful with those little details that matter, okay? Esos pequeños detalles son importantes. Okay. I'm going to move to the other groups. I'm going to visit Carlos and company. <laughs> Bye. I stay in a hotel. No. Uh, <laughs> Maria Leticia is attending an event at the hotel. Maria Leticia is attending an event 
an event. No. No. Adelante de attending. Mira, Leticia, is? Attending. Ah, ok, ok. An event. An at event the... at the hotel. Tomorrow okay. I will check out in the hotel. My family are checking out to come back. To come back. To come back downtown. Eliminate this A. Eliminate the letter. Uh -huh. I stay in a hotel. No. I am going to stay in a, in a Beverly Hills hotel, not a. I'm going to stay in Beverly Hills hotel. Oh, okay, I got it. I, got, I kept you. Okay. okay. And uh, what? Uh -huh. And what about the others? Carlos and Letty is going to attend a business event. Carlos and Letty are going to. Uh, are going. Uh -huh. see, Carlos and Letty. Okay. Okay. Are going to attend a business yes. event. Yes, that's uh, correct. I, I, I want to make. I want to make a reservation for our next weekend. For the next weekend, um, okay. For the next, or for a next? No. For, for, for the, the next. next, because you are, you are saying that this coming weekend. But if you say for a weekend, which weekend? Un, para un fin de semana, cual fin de semana? Mm -hmm. el, but el, if you say, uh -huh, for the, the next, next weekend, week, the next proximo. weekend, el próximo, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, you are determining. I, that's why. We call that the determiners. Mm -hmm. I, Porque está determinando I'm, cuál fin de semana. Cuál, specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are I, being specific. I am, I am going to check out at 5 p.m. Yes, excellent. And stay. Uh, I am going to stay in the hotel for two weeks. Very well. Carlos, I'm going to stay in Beverly Hills Hotel. Eliminate that letter A. Okay, like that? Yes, I'm going to stay in Beverly Hills Hotel. Excellent, very well. Good. Oh. And Letty? Yes. I would like to make a reservation. Okay. Tomorrow I will request a short service. Okay, a sure, sure service. Sure service. Uh -huh. We say, we say for two days in the hotel. Okay. Uh, y la, bueno, <ríe> tengo la misma de él. My family are checking out to come back downtown. Ok. Y me falta una. <ríe> ok. Which one is the other one? Stay. Teacher, do you know when uh, beginning the the level four? Mm, I don't know because it depends on you, on the no. papers that the, the group has, uh, you know, given the to the administration. Yeah, so they can create the groups. The human resource mm -hmm. department. The human, um, okay. The human resources, but also the administration. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. It depends on that, on the amount of papers that they have. Okay. Depende de la cantidad de, de documentos que hayan entregado ya. Sí. 
Ah, okay. Y como recuerden que quien los va entregando primero, con esas personas van llenando los primeros grupos. ¿Ok? Mm, ok. Uh -huh, así es. ¿Ustedes sí ya lo enviaron? Sí. 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 Ah, ok. Entonces, lo envié el lunes de la semana pasada. ¿Antes de vacación? Ya, sí, porque como dijeron que hasta miércoles iban a trabajar. Quiero uh -huh. ver. Ajá, sí, lunes me parece que lo envié. Sí, entonces ustedes tendrían que, que esperar porque ya creo que los que van a iniciar la, la otra semana ya, ya fueron antes pues los primeros. Ah, ok. Pero como no todo el grupo envía los documentos al mismo tiempo, es lo que uh -huh. les quiero decir, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. o puede ser que estén esperando y queden algunos de ustedes en el mismo grupo, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. ¿Te nos dará la siguiente nivel? Mm, no sé todavía, porque como siempre nos rotan, ¿verdad? Y, uh -huh. eh, ajá. Se da nivel 1. Todos los niveles. Sería. Uh -huh. hasta, hasta el 18. Yes, advanced. Uh -huh. Advanced. Yes. Wow. Oh, ok. People finished. Yes. Uh, Miss Letty, did you finish the sentence? Because we were waiting for you. <laughs> um, uh, Carlos and Wilber and Carlos attend a meeting. Are attending a meeting oh. are attending a meeting okay so let's get back to the main session room okay, okay. thank you okay. for thank you. being very active creating the sentences Okay, class, uh, Carlos, I would like to share your screen. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's see, one moment. Okay. Okay, class, I need you to focus on these sentences. Are you going to make a reservation at the hotel? That's okay. I will request a single room. That's okay. Maria Leticia is attending an event at the hotel. That's okay. Tomorrow I will check out in the hotel. That's okay. I'm going to stay in Beverly Hills Hotel. That's okay. But what about this one? I need you to focus on this one. Okay. My family are checking out to come back downtown. Here we need the full stop. Necesitamos el punto final. But there is one more thing. My family is or my family are. In British English, you may say my family are or my family is. Both are correct in British English, okay? But oh. in, Amer in American English, we say my family is. It is more common. My family is than my family are. But if you say my family are, that's okay because 
British English accepts both. My family are and my family is. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. But in American okay. English, we use is. Okay. So it was correct are because maybe you see it strange because my family is a collective noun. Yeah. Maybe yes. that is why they uh, accept both, but only British people. Is that okay? Yeah. I wanted uh, to clarify that. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Very well done. Now, someone else who would like to share his or her sentences? Hey, nobody else. Oh my God, why not? Why not? Hey, Tell, do you have your sentences? Yes. Okay, would you hey. like to share? Yes, the first one is, I need to make a reservation. The second, would you tell me if the laundry service is available? Very well. La tercera es, I'm going to attend a seminar at the Miami Holiday Inn Hotel. Wow. Great, oh, congratulations. Yes, yes, congratulations. <laughs> Why not? Maybe Indeed. one day. Yes. You know? <laughs> Who knows? No one knows. Maybe one day in the future. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> in number four, Julio is going to check out on Monday 18. Okay. And number five, are you going to stay in a double room? Very well. Great. Thank you, Miss. Excellent. Do we have someone else who would like to share? Me, teacher. Okay, Evelyn, please. I have to make a reservation for the weekend. I need to request transportation service at the hotel. Virginia attending a business conference last week. Attended, Attend. okay. Attended, uh, because it is in past tense. Very well, continue. I am responsible of checking out the product in my group of work. Could you stay an extra hour today? Okay, no. <laughs> no. No, because it is too late. Okay. They would say, okay. I'm so sorry, maybe next time. Yeah. Okay, very well. One more student, or that's okay. Nobody else? Okay, here we go. Julio, would you like to share? Because I see your attitude. Towards yes, the screen. Uh, okay, go ahead. No le, no le don't, don't feel frustrated. Okay. Le voy a okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, um, number one is hello, I would like to make a reservation. Um hello, thank you for calling on the Maribu. I will gladly make a due reservation. Sorry, can you tell me and the service of the hotel? You will be happy to give me your name. I am Caesar. Next week, I'm going to attend a business event. Hello, excellent. Don't not forget to check in the opening event of the company. Y las otras que las estaba creando. <laughs> okay, so here. I have one comment. Maybe it would be better. Will uh, will you or would you, would you, or could you give me your name? Okay, or may I have your name? Because uh, if it is a question, will you be happy to give me your name? Estaría feliz usted de darme su nombre? Sería, en todo caso, will iría antes de you. Okay. okay. Will you give me your name? Will you? Okay. 
we delete be happy. There is no need for be happy. No necesitamos be happy. Will you give me your name? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. And I'm going to stay in Malibu Hotel. Going with G at the end, not T. Remember that, okay? Okay, okay. Le voy a seguir. Okay, very well. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. That is why it is important and interesting to check, okay? You are very brave and you are doing a great job. Now, exercise three, accommodations or amenities class. You are going to classify the words below in the corresponding circle. Accommodations or amenities, do you remember? The definition for accommodations and amenities. Yes or no? So which one of which ones from this list are accommodations and which ones are amenities? At the beginning, if you remember, at the beginning of the unit, okay, uh, okay, we have that definition here. Accommodation. What is an accommodation? It is a place such as a room in a hotel where travelers can sleep and find other services. Amenities. This is a plural noun. Okay, we understand by amenities the features of the hotel that are available for guests to use. For example, a gym, a pool, a minibar, a jacuzzi, etc. Yeah. So based on that information, you scroll, 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 scroll until you get to that exercise and then you classify this list, okay, of words between accommodations and amenities, okay? Do it and when you finish, you let me know and we're going to uh, share as a class to make sure that we are in the correct choices, okay? Let's do it individually. When you finish, you tell me, finish teacher or I'm done, okay? Okay. Okay. It's amenities uh, that inside uh, at the service of the hotel. Uh, you have it in the definition, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Because remember, it is a general feedback. Okay. Okay, great. When you are done, you tell.
Okay, uh, let's remember that here we go, okay? Here we are. Oy. Remember, I'm going to have here the two definitions. Teacher, what does cabin mean? You have accommodation and amenities. Let's have clear this. What is an accommodation? It is a place such as a room in a hotel where travelers can, can sleep and find other services. Okay, that is an accommodation and amenities, the features or characteristic or extras that the hotel has available for guests to use. For example, a gym, a pool, and a mini bar or jacuzzi, etc. And you have some in here, yeah? Sure, service, business center, single room, fridge in the room, wake up call, safe, Wi-Fi, internet, laundry and service. Laundry service. So, Carlos, what was your question? Please say it again. Uh, what does cabin mean? Uh, cabin. Cabin, yes. It is um, a kind of a small house, like uh, similar to a bungalow. Oh, okay. It's a cabin. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. In the in the when you travel to the beach, in some hotels they have cabins or bungalows, and also when you go to the mountains. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Finish, Julio. And who else is done, class? Who else finished? Uh, yes, teacher, but... Um, okay, we're going to double check. Let's see. Teacher, the, the majority is amenities for me. Okay, we're going to double check. So let's go over the amenities. In the amenities, we have Say. swimming pool. Swimming pool. Okay, um, swimming pool. Uh, what else? Safe. Mm. No. no, no. Yes, yes, because it is uh, what the, the hotel offers you, okay? Safe, Keep because uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, it is the, the, the safe for you. Uh, keep uh, in a very safe way your belongings, your money, your passport. And actually yeah. it is in one of the, of the illustrations that you were labeling at the beginning of the unit, yeah? Another yes. one? Mini uh, bar. Mini bar. Yes. Another one? The best. Which one? Hi. Hi dryer. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. Cable TV. It is spilled wife. Okay. Cable TV. What did you say, Julio? Uh, high speed Wi Fi. High speed Wi Fi. High speed Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Okay, another. Which one? Cabin. No. No. Mm -mm. Spa. Room service. Yeah, spa, room service. Another one? Mm. But the spa is a place or no? But not all the hotels uh, offer you that. And not in all the, the, the rooms, you can have a, a, a spa. Okay. Ah, but in some places, in some hotels, it is like a common area, yeah, for spa, yes or no? Yes. Uh huh. So we leave it out better because I think that it is uh, cheaper for the hotel to have it in a common area. Mm. Okay. What else? Uh, bed and, uh, and bed and breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, it is like room service, right? B and B yes. stands for. Uh, bed and breakfast, not barbecue. <laughs> B 
Fair. <laughs> yeah, Fair. because some people, uh -huh, it is similar. Similar, but not the same, breakfast. Okay. Okay, another one? Only those. Is, spice accommodation. It is like, mm -hmm. uh, okay. So over here we have, yeah, accommodations, hostel, hostel. Cabin. 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 The other one, convention, hotel. Convention, hotel. Okay. Um, spa. Okay, spa. Only those. Hostel, cabin, convention, hotel, and spa. Yes? That's yes. correct. Okay, great. <laughs> Only those. Okay, great. Congratulations. Excellent. And uh, now let's move to the next exercise. Here, at page 48, we have this. Questions with a B going to. You have to identify and correct three mistakes in the questions below. Check answers with a classmate. So class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You identify the mistakes in their wrong sentences and you write the sentence in a complete way, in a full form without the mistake. Is that okay? Only exercise four. One, two, three, four, five sentences. The instruction is identify and correct three mistakes in the questions below. And then you are going to compare your answers, okay? Your choices with your classmates. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay that is at page 48. Exercise four. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Please everybody actively working, okay? Join your groups. Julio Cesar, you were- Me sacó, room. pero me volví a entrar. ¿Quién lo sacó? Usted yo no. No, <laughs> Zoom. no, el, 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 el Zoom fue. El Zoom, el Zoom fue. Okay, <laughs> so Catherine, here we go. Okay, join your groups. Okay, guys, join your groups if you are so nice, please. How long, how long are you going to stay at the cabin? Cuánto tiempo, how long, cuánto tiempo te vas a quedar en la cabaña? Are you going to stay at the cabin? When are they going? Cuando estarán? Cuando van a llegar? Cuando van a llegar? Are you going to rent a car? What side of the request? Todas están bien. <laughs> no, sería uh, en la tres. Eh, when, are, when are they going to arrive? Ah, okay. I'm going. Uh, el ¿Cómo? El error que viéramos, ¿dónde estaba el error? Sí.
Hola, me escucha. Sí, sí, Yes, I listen to La... you perfectly. Okay. ¿Me oyen? ¿Me escuchan? <risa> Tenía apagado el micrófono, no me había dado cuenta. Ok. Le decía que la primera, el, el error es que la posición del pronombre debería de ser is she. That's Porque correct. Excellent. Very well. Yes, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. Evelyn, do you listen to me? Me oye? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, excellent, great. Otherwise, I'm going to, like, the other time, do you remember that was crazy? Um, I have to ask you a favor. Could you stay with me for 10 minutes after class? You? Today. Yes, today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok, great. Ok. So, let's speed up this, and then we share. So in number one, you say, is she going to stay in a single room? Yeah, and that's okay. What about yeah. number two? How long are you going to stay at the cabin? Is it correct or incorrect? Is it correct or incorrect? Virginia, Evelyn, mm -hmm. Catherine, Elizabeth, Johanna, Mervyn? Is it correct or incorrect? How Para long? Mí, yo creo... Incorrect. No, that's correct. Yo creo que... ¿Cuánto sí. tiempo te vas a quedar en la cabaña? How long are you going to stay at the cabin? That's okay. Uh, what about number three? When are they going to arrive? Is it correct or incorrect? When are they going to arrive? Creo que es correct. No, no. No. Correct. Incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah, because you need to say, when are they going to arrive? Oh, sí. When are they going to arrive? Okay. Sí, when and the yeah between two verbs two when are they going to arrive uh what about number four 
Are you going to rent a car? Correct. You... Okay, and what about number five? What type of room you are going to request? Incorrect. Because the correct should be? For, because uh, the pronouns. You have to switch nombre... and the sí. verb. So it should be, ¿cómo sería la oración, Evelyn? What type of room are you going to request? Very well, great, excellent. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Now let's get back to the main session room so I can take your second attendance, okay? Let's return and let's double check your answers with the other groups. Okay, class, I'm going to call your names in order to check your second attendance. Here we go. Andrea Lisbeth, are you here? Present. Carlos? Here, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Elizabeth Johanna? Elizabeth Johanna? Evelyn? Present. Thank you, Miss Flores Absent. Predis? Predis. Hazel, Miss Hazel? I'm here. Very responsible. Very well. Julio Cesar? Present teacher. Also very responsible. Catherine, are you here, Catherine? Where are you? Okay, Miss. Me too, teacher. Very responsible. Really? <laughs> Always, <laughs> yes, forever and no. ever. <laughs> uh, Isabel, today absent. I don't know what happened to her. Leti, Maria Leticia, also very responsible. Present teacher. Yes, I have a lot of responsible people here. Um, Marvin, is Marvin here? No, he's not. Oh my God, he is absent today. Um, Mateo, Matthew is absent today, right? Okay. And then we have Miguel Angel, Miguel. Okay, via chat because he is a listener today. Natalia, absent. Rafael. We have been missing his voice today because he's a listener. Rudy? Rudy, where are you? Rudy lost the connectivity. Okay, thank you, Rafa. Thank you, Miguel. But Rudy, what happened to him? Virginia? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, and Wilbur. Present because there is a girl, Wendy, and she's upset. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Class, in your opinion, sentence number one, is it correct or incorrect? Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Is, okay, incorrect. so the correct sentence should be? 
is she. Is she is going, going, going to stay, to stay in, in, a, in a single room? In a single room? And question mark at the end, right? Number two, is it correct or incorrect? Is correct. 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 What about yes. number three? Correct or incorrect number three? Incorrect. 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 The correct sentence should be when when are they they going to arrive? Arrive. To arrive. It is a question. Question mark. What about number four? Is it correct or incorrect? Are you going to rent a car? Correct. 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 What about the last one? What type of room are you going to request? What type of room you are going to request? Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Correct. The correct sentence should be? What type, what type of room, room are you? Are you going to rest? Room are you going to request? Request. And question mark. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very well. So, number one, number three, and number five were incorrect, and you corrected it. Yeah. Now, here, let's expand your vocabulary. Vocabulary expansion. Sign roads, you have to match the signs to their corresponding meaning. Check answers with a partner. No overtaking, school zone, maximum speed is, don't continue, no U-turns, this exit goes to, don't turn right, don't turn left, okay? So you have to label all of them, yeah? I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can compare with a partner. Join your groups as soon as possible. Okay. Go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. You have five minutes to do it. Okay. Go, go, go to your groups. Join your groups, please. Go, go to your groups and begin working, labeling. Virginia, we need you in group number three, Katrin and Mervyn, we need you in your group, please, okay? Okay. Okay. Sí. Okay. 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 goes to. So, first one, don't turn left. This exit goes to. Number three, no overtaking. Number four, don't turn right. And number five, school, school zone. Number six, no U turns. Number seven, maximum maximum speed is. And number eight, don't continue. Right, Julio? No U turns. No U turns. No U turns. No U turns. Okay. 
And the uh, number La one. Which don't one? turn right uh, and don't turn left. Okay. Right then. Okay, thank you. Don't. Uh, this is left. Don't turn right. I know don't turn left. Left. Don't turn left. Another, and another four. Another is right. Okay, don't. Don't tower right. right. Yes. Okay. And number two, which one? Is the this this axis goes to goes to. This exit goes to goes goes to. Esta es la salida hacia <clears throat> la A seiscientos. Yeah, or, this right. exit goes to. That's it. That's correct. Okay. okay, so, ah, uh, and this 140 maximum speed is, okay. I think it's time to return, yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, you. okay. and you are going to share, okay? This group is going to share, so we can double check with the others. Okay. 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 Okay, Carlos Group, would you mind sharing your screen so we can double check to make sure we have the same answers? Okay, can share in this moment. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate. What do you think, class? Number one, don't turn left. Number two, this exit goes to. Number three, no overtaken. Number four, don't turn right. Five, school zone. Number six, no U-turns. Seven, maximum speed is, and don't continue. Do you agree, partially agree, or disagree? Do you agree? Is it correct, more or less, or incorrect? Correct. It is absolutely correct. Very well. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing, group. Thank you for sharing, Carlos. Okay. So, uh, okay, class, listen. Tomorrow we have the last class, and tomorrow we need to um, take the survey, the satisfaction survey. Mañana tenemos clase y vamos a llenar la encuesta de satisfacción y vamos a trabajar la clase de el pasado simple. So you need to connect at 8 p.m., okay? I'm going to be uh, waiting for you here and let's expect that everything is going to be okay. And congratulations, great job in the platform. All of you did it in a very nice way. And today, Evelyn is going to stay with me for a while, okay? So for the rest of you class, thank you so very much for being here, working actively. Today, you put into practice what we have been working in Unit 4, okay? Have a good night, sleep well, and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good see one. Bye-bye only. Evelyn stays with the teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. You. Thank Take you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, bye.
Bye, Michael. Bye, Catherine. Bye, Rafa. Bye, bye, Miguel. Bye, bye, Rafael. Okay, Rafa, bye. Okay, Evelyn, here we go. Le muestro el libro, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, here we go. Okay. Okay, Evelyn, let's practice this conversation. I am A and you are B. Later we switch, okay? Begin. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jorge, yes, but I was diminishing the picture because I don't see the complete image. <laughs> Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there be by foot. Thanks a lot. Now we switch. You speaker A, I am speaker B. Okay, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Airport. 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 Como que fuera una letra E. Airport. Airport. Excellent. Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive but I need to rent a car. Is there a car renter near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, now miss, I need you to read these transportation means, okay? Read them. Necesito train. que me lea. Oh, okay, train. Car. Plane. Motorcycle, subway, truck, uh, es así, no estoy... helicopter, Hel helicopter, taxi, bicycle, ship. Okay, repeat after me, truck, truck, truck. helicopter, truck. helicopter, helicopter, mm. airport. Airport. By foot. By foot. By taxi. By taxi. Okay, now let's move to this one. You are A and I am B. You begin. Good morning. Could you give me direction to the nearest hotel? Good morning, sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Now I begin and you are B. Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning. Sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Could you don't pronounce the letter L? Acá no pronunciamos la letra. L ni la letra O. Could. Could. Ok. Walk. La, ¿Dónde dice, teacher? Nearest. 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 Los, ajá. Porque near, cerca. Nearer, más cercano. Nearest, el más cercano. Nearest. The nearest, sí. el más cercano. Ok. Ok. okay. Thanks. Very well. Now here. Okay, where is it? The other conversation over here. Uh, okay, I am Jen and you are Gerardo. Yeah, here okay. we go. Uh, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, mm -hmm. I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? 
I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Okay. Uh, are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, very well. Until Monday. This you sounds like that. Oh, until Monday. Until Monday. Repeat after me. Until Monday. Until Monday. Okay, very well. Now you are Jen and I'm Gerardo. Begin, please. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with as Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single room? No, for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Aha, revenge. Venganza. <laughs> okay. And now let's see this other conversation. The agent and Rose. I am the agent and you are Rosa. Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? <laughs> Uy. <laughs> an earthquake, you know, an earthquake, terremoto, terremoto, okay? <laughs> okay, let's begin. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need a shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, now let's switch. You are the agent. I am Rosa. Mark Travel Agency. How can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? Mm, I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Now you read it alone. Ahora lo lees solita. Okay. Mark Strauss. Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation, a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? 
No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Congratulations, you can do it, you see? Okay, it is a good practice. And now here we have another conversation. All right, but this is the reading. Hmm. The reading, no, please, the reading, no. Okay, this is a short one, Amanda and Luis. You are Amanda, I am Luis. You begin. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appro appropriate? Uh, appropriate. Is it appropriate to use abbrevi Ab abbreviations? Com A abbreviations? Abbreviations? Yes. Uh, sí. uh, is it appropriate? Do you use uh, Abrevi abbreviations? Abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write, write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Now let's switch. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, now repeat after me. Is it? Is it? Is it? Appropriate. Is it appropriate. appropriate. No, appropriate. Ah, ah, that's correct because you have an R and you have to pronounce it. Is it appropriate? Is it appropriate to use to use abbreviations abbreviations in business emails? In business emails. Now you read it alone. Ahora lea esa parte solita. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? Excellent. No, I it is not it. professional. <laughs> Finally, you did it, okay? Congrats, <laughs> very well done. So it was profitable that you uh, stayed with me, okay? Repeat after me. Do you often send emails? Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Is it appropriate? Is it appropriate to use abbreviations? To use abbreviations in business emails? In business emails? No, it is not professional. No, it is not professional. I see. I see. Would you share more tips? Could you share more tips? To write effective emails? To write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, congratulations, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Okay, Miss, thank you so much for giving me your time. Yes, una consulta. To yes, Miss. Eh, yo siento que me cuesta bastante como expresarme. Vaya. Yo veo que algunos compañeros como que se les hace más fácil. No sé si porque ellos, no sé, ¿verdad? Eh, tal vez tienen más comunicación así como más práctica mmm, de conversación. Entonces no sé cómo, qué me recomienda usted como para, para poder conversar o dónde podría lo, practicar. Lo, lo que hemos estado haciendo, practicando las conversaciones porque eso le va a dar a usted seguridad, ¿sí? De lo que uh -huh. dice el vocabulario. Entonces, por ejemplo, en esta frase, fíjense bien, is it appropriate? Usted decía al principio, is it appropriate? No, hay que decir la frase junta, is it appropriate? Entonces, entre usted más practique, va a ganar más confianza en usted misma y lo va a decir porque usted observa algunos de sus compañeros que eh, muchas veces no lo dicen de forma correcta, pero ellos no tienen miedo de decirlo, ¿sí? Uh -huh. 
y luego yo los corrijo y ellos lo toman como algo natural y lo asimilan. Entonces usted no debe tener miedo. Si se recuerda, Julio, al principio tenía como temor. Ahora él ya perdió ese temor y ya él habla. ¿Sí o no? ¿Verdad? Sí. Y participa más. Entonces eso es lo que le hace falta a usted, por una parte. Por otra parte, acá fíjense bien, mire, Acá le aparece 57 uh -huh. ways to sign off on an email. Acá usted tiene estos links. Usted hace clic y directamente le va a llevar hacia estos sitios donde usted puede practicar. Mire, tiene one, two, three, ¿verdad? Como el que, les, para... como el que les compartí yo ahora, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces ahí el para... y usted escucha, lee y hace los ejercicios, ¿sí? Mm, okay. Okay. Y para conectarme a esos links tendría que ser de una computadora. Porque... No, 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 del, del teléfono. O usted lo puede, o lo puede, lo puede, no lo me... puede copiar. Pues, copia el link y lo pega uh -huh. en la barra navegador. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. Ok. okay muy bien. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Uh -huh. Okay. Mañana That's tenemos right. clase. To continue practicing. Okay. Bye bye, good relax, night. have a good night, bye. bye bye, see you tomorrow, bye, take care.